Today we're going to look at a very simple colour wheel, a bit like the ones you probably did at school. Um, we're going to be working with just three colours today, uh, the three ca primary colours, cadmium yellow, cadmium red and ultramarine. Now you can mix any colour that you need to produce a painting with just those three colours. Certainly any painting that you might do, which is a landscape or natural forms, but it will give you a it will give you a basic range of colours to produce something more than adequate. So when you get, you know, lulled into buying a a paint set with lots of paints in you you actually don't need them this is the color wheel we're going to be working on today it's called an artist's color wheel so it might be a little bit more advanced than the one that you did at school uh let's, let's just get down to it quickly if i just show you this is the color swatch is that we did um in the last video when uh, i opened up a, a new set of Windsor & Newton um, studio watercolour set and it got 45 colours in it but today we're just going to strip it down and just use three so get down and mix our first well not mix we're not mixing yet but just putting our first colour on and this is going to be cadmium yellow my paints are quite sticky today I'm going to keep the colours quite intense um, because we're mixing colours and I want the results to look quite bold. So we have our cadmium yellow and I'm going to put it in this centre piece here and I'm also going to put it in this section here so the point of the I don't know what you call it it's it's a diamond shape is pointing at the same colour I've got a piece of kitchen roll to dry my brush and a big jar of water so next we are going to go for cadmium red working the paint around so we get a nice intense colour I'm trying really difficult really not really difficult I'm trying really hard not to let the colours merge because that all gonna go wrong I can see that the yellow is starting to merge in with the red there just in the center it's so going to annoy me so I'm gonna rip off a bit of kitchen roll and just dab it and stop it now before it all goes horribly wrong and I'm also going to put a bit of cadmium red up here again the point in the point of the diamond is pointing to that segment there on the outside wheel Now for ultramarine. Blues always have this transparent quality to them. There's probably some science involved with that. And a 
again on the outside ring. This is upsetting me a bit because I'm I'm not going right to the line. I'm doing this quickly. I'm not allowing it to dry properly. Just so you're not sat here for hours. Right. So. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to start to do some of our first mixes. So I'm going to get cadmium yellow. When it comes to mixing palettes, you don't have to buy anything expensive. You can just use an old plate, this massive roasting dish, and I'm a roasting dish I use sometimes because it's so big I can mix lots of colours. So I'm trying to get a 50-50 mix. So I'm so it's a true rep representation of the equal parts yellow and red. And we're going to paint it here. And we're also going to paint it up here. Now, if I add a little bit more yellow, to that orange, I've actually not got enough paint on my palette. We actually, you can start to see how many colors you can you can just start to get from from a very very basic amount of paint three colors and you can just start to see the range now if I need a little bit more yellow if we go the other way and have more red with the orange. I think I need a little bit more orange. A little bit more red, sorry. You can see we could be doing this much more subtly. We could be and have we could have a much more subtler change between those. So you've got infinite, infinite amount of colours just in those three. So that's just your just your oranges. Right. Let's go for green. Because the world is full of greens. And if you're 
an aspiring landscape artist. Green will be one of your top colours that you will be mixing. sticky pens. So, so again trying to go for that 50-50 mix. I've got to say that's still it's a very bluey green but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. I have to say, when I did this at school, because I was also a massive fan of anything arty at school, but I was slightly disappointed because, you know, when you're told, right, you're going to mix blue and yellow together and you're going to get green, or the pinnacle of disappointment red and blue together and you get purple it's not quite how you imagined they always seemed a bit slushy and dirty and not not vibrant enough for me so if we go on to this side, we're going to mix a green with a lot of blue in it. That won't be very hard, I don't think. <clears throat> and now I need a bit more yellow we are going to mix a green which is more on the yellow side so you're getting into a more acidic green if you can hear weird noises in the background it's my very old cat. And again, you could mix a whole selection um, of colours in between these, you know, much, much subtler colours. Oh, now for my favourite knot, school purple. I know they, well, there always used to be this thing with the teachers. How do you make purple? You mix red and blue together. And it's like, yeah, but it doesn't make this, it doesn't make purple, it makes sludgy brown. And that in fact actually needs more blue because it's not it's not a real 50-50 mix. No, that's that's as close as we're going to get. Now to me that 
is not purple. Technically it is, because we've mixed red and blue. But sometimes you get, when you get hot chocolate, you look at it and it's got this slight purple tinge to it. Purple brown. If I got served a hot chocolate this colour, I think I'd send it back. So, there we go. That's purple. I'm totally underwhelmed by that. So, should we go for the red side first? So we're going to make a ready purple. Which to me just looks like a ready brown. This hasn't got anything to do with the price of the paint. These are, you know, these are expensive paints. It's not because they're cheap paints. It's just the way that they work. And we'll go this side and we will mix a... That's getting very sticky now. We will mix a bluey purple. I've got to say, that's probably the closest. It has a hint of purpleness about it. Again, when I'm mixing colours and looking at colours, I, I try and imagine what I might use them for, what they remind me of, and instances where I would use them. There we go. That is our basic colour wheel. You can see these greens might be seen in landscapes or in plants. And again, these colours may be seen in, in buildings. These colours might be seen in flowers. So it's always thinking about where you might use these 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 colours. Anyway, that's a very simple colour wheel for you. Even if you've done it before and you've got a new set of paints, it's it's worth giving it a bit of a go just, just to remind you of just using those three primary colours. That's technically all you need. graphics again. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like. If you're finding any of these videos helpful at all or you're interested to see what's next don't forget to subscribe. Give that little bell a tickle and if you want leave a comment or if you've got any ideas for videos or anything you want to know don't forget to drop a comment and the really really expensive graphic if you want to follow me on instagram here's where you find me thanks for watching <laughs>